Hello everyone, I am Dr. Nilesh Kumar and today we are going to discuss how to prevent capsular runoff using an innovative technique that is known as capsular eye running. This is not something that I have uh, discovered. It was a tip that was given by Dr. Harbanslal, then President AIUS during one of the conferences when he was on stage and a similar topic was under discussion. And this I took from uh, that pearl and I started practicing from last January. So it has been almost six months. I have operated around 65-70 cases of uh, mature intermittent cataract. As you can see in this uh, cataract, there are multiple spokes, multiple uh, pockets of fluid that is below the capsule and uh, there is uh, a high chance of runoff when the capsule uh, capsular excess goes over one of these pockets and uh, suddenly it can go into periphery. So what I am doing is gently massaging after uh, making a soft cell and with the same visco cannula I am just massaging, gently massaging. The aim is to break all the fluid pockets so that each of the fluid pockets communicate, communicate with each other and through a central core. So the aim after that will be uh, to create a central puncture from where all the fluid will ooze out so that uh, we don't get any surprises when we go into the periphery performing the capsular excess. So once we have uh, massaged it thoroughly we uh, took this is a haldi purkar forceps, forceps an excellent uh, micro axis forceps that goes into through the main wound and uh, uh, it doesn't make the ac collapse because it is not pressing too much on the wound lip so we are uh, now doing the capsular axis round regular you can see it's perfect 5.5 mm axis there is no chance of runoff and almost all cases that i have done has been like this so at the end of the that perfect capsular axis and uh, the case that you can see how beautiful the lens is IOL is centered and just we have some amount of cortical fibers in the periphery that I am trying to pull it out in the capsular polishing mode and now you can see it's a perfect case that that can be closed with a good vision that will come tomorrow. So this is our next case case number two that I am just demonstrating and uh, same process we are giving a bolus of visco dispersive followed by a bolus of visco cohesive so this is a soft cell technique that we use and after that we'll start the gentle gentle ironing again you can see and it is not too much stressful on the zonules i have not seen any zonular uh, laxity or zonular compromise following this technique it should not be very uh, vigorous it the aim as always should be to break all the pocket of fluids you can see you can actually uh, see how the pockets are being created and communi started communicating with each other now again we start with capsular excess and puncture the central capsule and you see there is a ooze of fluid that fluid came out sure shot it was going to run off if it was, it was not uh, being uh, done like this so this rexus was a little smaller than uh, I would have anticipated it, at the end it was around 5 mm little less than what I would uh, love to have as it was a brown nucleus that was peeking from behind So that's done. You can see the IOL is again well placed and centered. A well formed AC. There is nothing more uh, to do. So we just switch on the retro illumination and see how beautiful it is thank you for watching it was great to demonstrate this technique thank you